Rockford Construction Company Driver Training. Training elements, reduce your risk, road rage, defensive driver, night driving, inclement weather, hydroplaning, distractive driver. Reduce your risks. If you're driving an unfamiliar vehicle, spend a few minutes to acquaint yourself with all the controls. Adjust the seat and mirrors, preset the climate control and entertainment options. Focus on driving. Don't let passengers become a distraction. Eating and drinking while driving can be hazardous. Take a break. Secure loose items in your vehicle. Road rage. Characteristics. Intent, displaced anger, use of a weapon. Reduce your road rage exposure. Be patient. Manage your own anger and stress. Avoid making eye contact with aggressive drivers. Don't tailgate, cut off others, or drive slowly in the left lane. Defensive driver. Be a defensive driver. Protect yourself and others. Yield to drivers who are determined to get there first. Keep checking your rear view and side mirrors for oncoming traffic. Remember, your mirrors have blind spots. Always turn your head and look for others before changing lanes. Night driving. Use those headlights. At the very least, you should turn your headlamps on about an hour before dusk. This makes it easier for you to see as the sun sets, but also makes you more visible to other drivers. Of course, during times of bad weather, consider using your lights regardless of the time of day. Back off. Following too close can make the other driver nervous, which makes them more likely to react badly to something in the road and can cause a wreck. Also, the closer your headlights are, the brighter they seem and more distracting they can be. Your visibility in front of the car in front of you is lessened at night. Night driver, headlights. Keep the headlights clean, aimed in the right direction, and lit is the key to safe night driving. Keep your eyes moving and be alert. At night, it is harder to see animals, bicyclists, children still playing in the street, or debris that could already be present or become a problem. Inclement weather includes ice, snow, rain, fog, wind, and other natural hazards or factors. Inclement weather. Be aware of the weather forecast. Vehicle pre-inspection. Don't speed. You must always remain cautious when driving in bad weather to prevent a wreck. Slow down. Rainy roads mean slippery roads. Reduce your speed by one third when roads get wet to avoid accidents is suggested. If weather is too harsh, don't drive. Whether it's because of a harsh blizzard, strong winds, or other inclement weather, try to find a safe place to park. If none are available or driving is unsafe, pull over on the side of the road and remain inside your vehicle. Watch for back black ice. Some signs to look for are ice buildup on the mirror arms, antennas, or the top corners of your windshield. Inclement weather. Use extra care on incline. Add extra space on the road. If you are driving in the middle of a storm, make sure there is enough room between you and the other vehicles in case you have an emergency and need to pull over. Keep your lights clean. Ice and snow can cover your lights, ruining your visibility. Every time you stop, clear off your lights so you can see while driving. Turn your lights on. Many states require your lights to be on while it's raining and for good reason. Illuminating your path with your lights helps maintain your visibility even in the rain. Heavy snow. Heavy snows and ice can bring down power lines, tree limbs, entire trees, and even buildings. Be aware of these obstacles, especially if you get off the main road onto access drives and sidewalks. Vehicle inspection. Inspect your vehicle to make sure that it is fit for winter weather driving. 
Check the tire pressure and tread. Fill the gas tank. Check the windshield. Wash your fluid. Windshield snow or ice. Ensure all snow and ice are removed from the windshield, windows, and side view mirrors before driving. Remove snow and ice from the head and tail lights before driving. Accelerating. Accelerating on ice and snow can be difficult, especially if you're sitting on an incline. Accelerating slowly, giving the tires a chance to grab traction. Keep your wheels pointed forward until you start to move before attempting to turn. Turning your wheels before you are moving will cause your wheels to spin. Steep roads. Sometimes a certain road will take you straight up a steep hill when a better option may be to take a longer way around using a less steep route. Avoid stopping on a hill in snow and ice. If you see a vehicle stopped ahead of you, slow down and give them a time to clear before you get to the intersection. Make sure others can come to a complete stop before you enter an intersection, even if you have the right of way. Getting stuck. If you become stuck, make sure there are no vehicles coming before you try to exit your vehicle. Turn on your four way flashers before you exit. If you are calling someone to come pull you out, stand clear of the vehicle and other traffic. Getting stuck continued. If you're going to dig yourself out, try to identify which tire or tires do not have traction. Dig under and around the tire. Look up often to see if there is any vehicles coming. If you have any sand or salt, put it under the tire for traction. You may have to repeat this process several times to free the vehicle. Pedestrians in the street. Often excessive snow will force pedestrians to walk in the street. Sidewalks can be covered with snow Fog. Dense fog can severely limit your ability to see when driving. Use your fog lights if your vehicle is equipped with them. Do not use your bright lights as it will limit your visibility and the visibility of those driving towards you. High water. Do not attempt to cross running water that is more than a couple inches deep. Do not drive through water if you are unsure of the depth or cannot see the road. Do not cross bridges that have water flowing over them. Wind. High winds can turn over a vehicle or force you out of your travel lane. High winds affect vehicles such as a box truck, work van, or other high profile vehicles more than a normal car or pickup truck. Slow down when driving a high profile vehicle. Hydroplaning. Hydroplaning happens when the tires encounter more water than they can scatter, so they lose contact with the road and skid along the water surface. Water pressure in front of the tire forces a layer of water underneath the tire, reducing friction and causing the drivers to lose control of the car. Although it can be a scary experience, the most important thing is to remember to stay calm. Hydroplaning. This picture illustrates the hydroplaning, wheels, water underneath the surface, rolling tire causes it to hydroplane. Again, another figure of hydroplaning. The first is low speed and the contact with the tire. Moderate speed reduces contact with the road here, and then high speed basically no contact underneath the tire there and causes a skid. Driving practices to avoid hydroplaning. Be careful during the first few minutes of rainfall. The first 10 or so minutes after it starts to rain can be the most dangerous. This is because when rain first begins to fall, it stirs up oil and other substances that have dried on the road. The mixture or oil and water forms a film on the road that makes it extra slippery. During those first few minutes, 
drive slower, and be on high alert for other drivers skidding. Heavy downpour over an extended period will eventually wash the roads clean, so conditions might be less dangerous at that point. This just shows the diagram of reducing your speed during inclement weather. Driving practices to avoid hydroplaning, slow down in wet conditions. The faster you're going, the harder it is for your car to maintain traction in wet conditions. If your tires connect with a puddle of standing water, instead of maintaining contact with the road, they'll be more likely to skid. Avoid driving through puddles and standing water. These are the spots where you'll be likely, most likely to hydroplane since your tires will have difficulty maintaining traction. Turn off cruise control. If you're driving on a highway and using cruise control, turn it off when it starts to rain. You'll be more in tune with the conditions around you when it's off. You may need to reduce your speed quickly, and that's easier to do when your foot is already on the brake and you're paying attention to the road conditions and your speed. Drive slowly, try to avoid skids, and maintain a mild pressure on your brake and gas. Avoid sudden acceleration. Don't make sudden turns as these could throw your car off course. Be extra cautious on curvy roads, taking care to steer smoothly and to drive slowly. Regaining control when you hydroplane. Stay calm and wait for the skid to stop. When you first start to skid, that can be panic inducing. Try not to panic or lose your concentration. You just wait for the skid to stop and stay alert so you can regain control of your car. Bear in mind that most hydroplane related skids last just a split second before your car can gain, regain traction. Waiting it out is the best way to handle the situation. Don't yank the steering wheel, since this action will cause you to further lose control of the vehicle. Ease your foot off the gas. Accelerating into a skid can cause you to lose control of the car and make matters worse. Don't try to accelerate out of the skid. Instead, slowly ease up and wait a moment or two until you're, you regain control and you can accelerate again. If you are braking when you enter, the skid, ease up on the brake until it's over. Regaining control when your hydroplane continued, steer in the direction you want the car to go, maintain a firm grip, and carefully point the car in the right direction. This technique is known as steering into the skid, and it's, best, and it's the best way to get your car back on track after skidding. You may need to correct the car's course a few times with light counter steering as you're regaining traction. Don't turn too sharply or you'll overcorrect. Jerking the wheel back and forth could cause the car to spin out of control. Keep a steady hand on the wheel and steer with small movements to correct the course. Spinning out. When someone spins out, the rear comes around and can cause the vehicle to spin halfway around or in complete circle under certain circumstances. Driving too fast or braking too hard on curves often causes someone to spin out. Fishtailing. Too much power to the rear wheel drive vehicle will lead to fishtailing on a wet, snow, or ice covered road. Fishtailing occurs when the rear of the vehicle swings from side to side with little or no control. Overcorrection by the driver leads to sometimes violent swinging from side to side. Fishtailing continued. If your vehicle starts to fishtail, let off the gas and use small corrections to the wheel to get your vehicle pointed forward. Emergency kits what you should have in your vehicle in case of emergency. Fully charged cell phone or radio, an extra set of dry clothes, including gloves, socks, shoes, slash boots, water bottle or bottles, snacks, stores may be closed, shovel to dig yourself out. 
Distracted driving. Distracted driving definition. Distracted driving is any activity that could divert a person's attention away from the primary task of driving. All distractions endanger the driver, the passenger, and the bystander. Distraction. There are three main types of distractions. The first, visual, taking your eyes off the road. Second, manual, taking your hands off the wheel. And the third, cognitive, taking your mind off driving. Distraction examples include texting, use of a cell phone or smartphone, eating and drinking, talking to passengers, grooming, reading, including maps, use a navigational system, children, watching a video, adjusting a radio, CD player, or MP3 player. Texting. Because text messages requires visual, manual, and cognitive attention from the driver, it is by far the most alarming distraction. Distracted driver key facts. Drivers spend more than half of their time focused on other things than driving. Texting and phone calls aren't the only distractions. Passengers eating and in-car technology can also cause distractions. Driving safety statistics. Someone is injured every 14 seconds, over 2 million injuries annually, a person dies in a crash every 16 minutes. Motor vehicle accidents are the most common cause of work-related death. One in four fatal work injuries involve a vehicle. Driving safety statistics. 2,841 people died in distraction-affected crashes in 2018. There were 401 fatal crashes in 2017 that were reported to have involved the use of cell phones as a distraction. The fatal crash rate for teens is three times greater than for drivers age 20 and over. Driver distraction is responsible for more than 58% of teen crashes. More than 90% of car crashes involve human error. Distracted driver key facts, engaging in visual manual subtax, such as reaching for the phone, dialing and texting associated with the use of handheld phones and other portable devices increase the risk of getting into crash by three times. Five seconds is the average time your eye, eyes are off the road while texting. When traveling at 55 miles an hour, that's enough time to cover the length of a football field blindfolded. Distracted driving laws. Handheld cell phone use ban. 20 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands prohibit all drivers from using handheld cell phones while driving. All cell phone ban. No state bans all cell phone use for all drivers, but 38 states and the District of Columbia ban all cell phone use by novice or teen drivers, and 21 states and the District of Columbia prohibit any cell phone use for school bus drivers. Distracted driving laws continued. Text messaging ban, 48 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands ban text messaging for all drivers. Montana, there's no ban for texting. And Missouri, the ban is for drivers 21 years or younger. Michigan law, using a level one or two graduated license, typically drivers under age 17, talking on a cell phone while driving is prohibited except when using a voice operated system that's integrated into the vehicle. Cell phone ban exceptions. The cell phone bans have a number of exceptions. These include using a device to report a traffic accident, medical emergency, or serious road hazard a situation in which the person believes his or her safety is in jeopardy or the perpetration or potential perpetration of a crime against a person. Michigan law text messaging. 
For all Michigan drivers, it's illegal to use a wireless communication device that's located in the driver's hand or lap to write, read, or send text messages. Exceptions. The text the texting while driving law contains exceptions for reporting a traffic accident, medical emergency, or serious road hazard, reporting a situation in which the person believes his or her safety is in jeopardy, reporting a perpetration or potential perpetration of a crime against a person, and using a GPS or navigational system that's affixed to the vehicle. Michigan law continued. Depending on circumstances, a texting or cell phone violation could also lead to a reckless driving conviction. If one of these violations results in the death of another person, vehicular homicide charges are possible. Tips for, to avoid distractions. Fully focus on driving. Store loose gear, possessions, and other distractions that could roll around in the car. Make adjustments before you begin your trip to GPS, seats, mirrors, climate controls, and radio. Finish dressing and personal grooming at home. Tips to avoid distractions continued. Snack smart. If possible, eat meals or snacks before or after your trip, not while driving. On the road, avoid messy foods that can be difficult to manage. Put aside your electronic distractions. If you have a passenger, enlist your help so can, you can focus safely on driving. Tips to avoid distractions continued. If another activity demands your attention, instead of trying to attempt it while driving, pull off the road and stop your vehicle in a safe place. To avoid temptation, power down or stow devices before heading out. There are also apps that can not allow your phone to receive call, text, or email while you're driving. Why make a second trip? You should know the Rockford Construction Company's cell phone policy. This ends the presentation portion of this training. Now there'll be a 15 question quiz. Question one, inclement weather includes A, snow, B, sun, C, fog, D, A and C. Question two, reducing your speed by a half when roads get wet to avoid accidents is suggested. A, true, or B, false. Question three, inspect the following to make sure your vehicle is fit for winter driving. A, check the tire pressure and tread. B, fill the gas tank. C, Check the windshield washer fluid, and D, all of the above. Question four, ensure all snow and ice are removed from the windshield, windows, and side view mirrors before driving. A, true, or B, false. Question five, what is the correct response when trying to accelerate on snow and ice if you're sitting on an incline? A, travel in reverse. B, accelerate slowly, giving the tires a chance to grab traction. C, accelerate fast, giving the tires a chance to grab traction. Or D, accelerate moderately, giving the tires a chance to grab traction. Question six. When driving in fog, use your bright lights as it will limit your visibility and the visibility of those driving towards you. A, true, or B, false. Question seven, do not drive through water 
if you are unsure of the depth or cannot see the road. A, true, or B, false. Question eight, hydroplaning happens when A, your tires encounter less water than they can scatter, so they lose contact with the road and skid along the water surface. B, your tires encounter no water. C, your tires encounter more water than they can scatter, so they lose contact with the road and skid along the water surface. Or D, your tires encounter a gravel road. Question nine, those first blank or so minutes after it starts to rain can be the most dangerous. A, five, B, eight, C, 10, or D, 12. Question 10, if your vehicle starts to fishtail, let off the gas and use small corrections to the wheel to get your vehicle pointed forward. A, true, or B, false. Question 11, if you're driving an unfamiliar vehicle, spend a few minutes to acquaint yourself with all the controls, adjust the seat and mirrors, reset the climate control and entertainment options. A, true, or B, false. Question 12, characteristics of road rage include A, displaced anger, B, intent, C, use of weapon, or D, all of the above. Question 13, defensive drivers do not yield to drivers who are determined to get there first. A, true, or B, false. Question 14, the three main types of distraction are A, cognitive, visual, and material, B, manual, observation, and sound, C, visual, manual, and cognitive, D, visual, observation, and automatic. And the final question, 15, if another activity demands your attention, instead of trying to attempt it while driving, pull off the road and stop your vehicle in a safe place. A, true, or B, false. This ends the quiz portion of the presentation.